Okay, so next we will show that the sorgen free line is T1 or for Shea. So proof. Let X be any real number. Then since the complement of the singleton is the union of the open ray from negative infinity to x with the open ray from x to positive infinity, and this is a union of open sets in the sorgen fray line. It is open. And hence, a singleton containing any real number is closed in the sorgen fray line. And therefore, the sorgen fray line is T1 or Frechet. Since every singleton is closed, Now since the sorgen free line is normal and T1, or for Shea, it is T2, or Hausdorff, that is the sorgen free line is a normal Hausdorff space and hence the sorgen free line is a T4 space. And as the sorgen free line is T4, it is also T3, and hence regular. So as an exercise, show that half open rays of the form, the half open ray from negative infinity to A, are closed but not open. In the sorgen free line and use this fact to show that the sorgen free line has no isolated points. Okay, so new definition. Let the collection script be be the set of all open intervals from A to B, where A and B are real numbers, together with all singletons containing irrational numbers, the set of reals together with the topology generated by the collection script B is called the Michael line and this is an honor of the mathematician
Ernest Michael. And the Michael line is denoted R sub M. So as an exercise, show that the collection script B In the definition of the Michael line, satisfies the conditions for a topology generated. by a basis so next we will show that the topology of the Michael line is strictly finer than the standard topology on the rails. It's a proof. Every basic open set in the real line is also a basic open set in the Michael line however for every irrational number x The singleton containing that irrational number is a basic open set. In the Michael line, but is not open in the real line. So let's look at the singletons in the Michael line so let X be any real number since the complement of the singleton containing the real number x is the union of the open ray from negative infinity to x with the open ray from x to positive infinity and this is a union of open sets in the Michael line it is open And hence, a singleton containing any real number is closed in the Michael line. Now, if x is a irrational number, 
then the singleton containing the irrational number is a basic open set. In the Michael line. Now let x be a rational number. Then every basic open set containing the rational number x is an open interval of the form the open interval from A to B which cannot be contained in the singleton containing the irrational number. And so the interior of the singleton containing a rational number is empty, and hence a singleton containing an irrational number is not open. Since it is not equal to its interior. Now since the singleton containing the point x is open for every irrational number x, the Michael line has uncountably many isolated points. Now, as the real line has no isolated points, the Michael line is not homeomorphic to the real line. And the Michael line is T1, or Frechet. since every singleton is closed. So next, we will show that the Michael line is disconnected as proof. Let A be an irrational number, and let B be any real number, such that A is less than B. Then the half open interval from A to B, which is the union of the singleton containing the irrational number A together with the open interval from A to B. Since this union is a union of basic open sets, in the Michael line, it is open.
And so the half open ray from A to positive infinity, which is a countable union of half open intervals, is open as it is a union of open sets in the Michael line. And so the pair, the open ray from negative infinity to A, and the half open ray from A to positive infinity, is a separation of the Michael line. And this is true for every irrational number A. So next, we will show that the Michael line is not separable proof. Let D be a dense set in the Michael line, and let R be an irrational number. Then the singleton containing the irrational number R is a non-empty open set in the Michael line. And so the intersection of the singleton containing the rational number with the dense set D is not empty. And hence the irrational number R is in the set D, that is, every dense set in the Michael line must contain all irrational numbers So there does not exist a countable dense set in the Michael line. And therefore, the Michael line is not separable. Now, since the Michael line is not separable. The Michael line is not second countable. And as the sorgen fray line is separable, The Michael line is not homeomorphic to the sorgen fray line. Okay, so we will end here for today. Next time, we will continue to look at the properties of the real line, the sorgen fray line, and the Michael line. And we'll look at an additional exotic or non-standard topology on the reals called the K topology. So I hope you have enjoyed the 22nd lecture. Thanks for watching.